Welcome to Transcending Kismet. I'm trying something new today. So I'm sitting in a new setup and we're doing a pick a card for how is he feeling. So welcome to my channel. And I have four piles here. See if you can see them. Um, I'm going to show them a little bit closer. But these are four piles. Actually, four cards. I didn't do piles. I did cards. So you're going to pick a card and you're going to, we're going to talk about how is he feeling based on the card. So I have, this is pile one. Okay. Pile one. Well, card one. I keep saying pile because I usually do pick a, pick a card. We call them pick a cards with their piles. And this one is kind of like a rainbow colored butterfly that says love on it. And then we have card two, which is yellow. And it's like mostly yellow with purple love. And it has um, a blue butterfly there, a wood butterfly on it. These are available on my website, www.hopeandcookies.com. These are part of my art, my art collection. Um, they're really, really super cute. If you want to um, just have a nice little love memorabilia for your office, something handmade with love by me. Pile three, this is the, it's a clear with a blue butterfly that says love. It's kind of like art deco-ish looking. That's pile three. And pile four, well pile, I keep saying pile. Card four is this yellow and black butterfly with a blue wood butterfly. Okay, so that is card four number four so take some time to make your selection um you can make it off of either the number or the butterfly however your intuition works but we are going to begin now with card number one so how does he feel he or she let me not just say he but he or she feel about you and the card that we have is the ace of wands so this may be a new relationship or a new situation or someone you just met. Um, I can tell you that with wands, they have an attraction to you. So immediately I feel like there, there's an attraction. It's not, I wouldn't say, I don't want to say it's that deep without pulling extra cards. And again, this is just a general reading just for fun. Um, I know I particularly love these at one point in time. I love the, how does he feel? Cause they can be pretty accurate, but for those who chose card number one, just because this is a one card pull, and I'm gonna be doing more of these that are more in depth, but for now, this is just a collective read. This is for whoever chose card number one. Whoever the person is you're thinking about, he or she does have an attraction to you. Um, they feel like a spark. Uh, maybe there's some chemistry. And um, again, this is a romantic read. This is not you know, platonic. So I'm going to put in the caption that this is a romantic, how does she or feet, how does he or she feel? Pick a card, pick a card reading. And in a romantic sense, whoever the person is you're thinking of that pick pile one or card one, um, it could be someone you just met or you, if you have known them for a long time, maybe you, you're just now starting to see them differently, or they're just now starting to see you differently in a more of a, passionate sense if you know what I'm saying more like you know sexual chemistry type of a vibe so whoever this person is yeah they have a little bit of chemistry um in regards to you and I feel like you also have in regards to them hence the how does he or she feel about me so yeah the feeling is mutual um but it is not that deep um because it's just an ace card so again you could have just met this person or if you have known them platonically it could just now be possibly burgeoning, burgeoning into something that could be physical or like a physical chemistry type of thing. So that's for card number one. All right. So now we're going to move it along to card number two. Those who chose the yellow butterfly, it's mostly yellow. And again, these are on my website, www.hopeandcookies.com if you want to order some. Those who chose card two, it's the three of pentacles. Okay, so this 
whoever chose card two, the three of pentacles, this could be progressing to the next level. Whoever this person is that you're thinking about romantically, they're ready to go to the next level. They're ready to um, take it a step further, if you know what I'm saying. If you are just dating, they may want to become exclusive. Or if you've been dating for a while, they may want to propose. Or um, this, this has to do with building a foundation. This has to do with building a future. You know, it's not necessarily like the four of pentacles or like the, the ten of cups, but they do see a future with you. So whoever chose card number two, the person does see a future with you. And um, if you've been together for a long time, maybe this person is thinking about wanting to buy a home together or start a family. Well, not necessarily family, but something that has to do with um, building a solid foundation with you. And you are possibly feeling the same way about them. So that's for those who chose card number two. We're moving along quickly. This is not very long, not a very long read. This is the first time I've ever done these. I usually focus more on advice and counseling. Um, I'm more of an intuitive counselor, but I definitely want to get more into the how does he or she feel romantic aspect of pick a card readings because there is an advice aspect that I do feel called to share and I am going to get more into it. But this being my first one, and this is a timeless read, so whenever you come across it, you are meant to find it. And... Um, <clears throat> you know, just kind of give you an overview as to how he or she may be feeling romantically. So those who chose number three, right? Let's see how they feel about you. Okay, those who chose number three, this person, whoever you're thinking about romantically, they are a little bit obsessed, okay? Um, okay, I want to say a lot of bit obsessed. They're obsessed and like, possibly like toxically maybe possessive even of you maybe even um they definitely have the hots for you like 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 i said they're obsessed so yeah it's a devil it's a devil card so this card i mean it's not like scary scary but they they like you a lot like they have the hots for you you are like super hot to them um, they have major chemistry with you. You just do it for them. Okay. You are like hot.com.org.edu to this person. So whoever chose card number three, yes, the person really likes you, but in an obsessive way. Okay. They, it's, it's probably more sexual. I'm just going to be honest. Um, they have the hots for you. It doesn't mean that they don't care for you because again, I'm not doing a full, full, full reading, which I will do one. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. But they um, definitely have the hots for you. And they definitely are not only have the hots for you, they are obsessed. They like think about you all the time. And they, yeah, they really, really, maybe even a little possessive and, um, you know, jealous over you too. Like, they 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 want you okay so we're gonna move along to the final pile pile number four which is the yellow and black butterfly love sign again these are on my etsy shop etsy shop www dot not etsy shop i don't have an etsy shop why did i say that you know because everybody else says it and I don't have an Etsy shop. I, I specifically have everything on my website or on Instagram at Allison's Cookie is where you can um, you can also hit me up on Instagram at Allison's Cookie is my handle and you can DM me. But my full website is www.hopeandcookies.com. This is a short read, so I'm not even going to put timestamps because this is just my toe in the water for the how does he or she feel romantically about me reading. Now, Maybe I will put timestamps. I'm sorry. I'm just like being indecisive because maybe, um, you know, you may want to not want to listen to the whole thing. You just want to go directly to your card. So I will put the timestamps in the, I will put the timestamps below, even though this is going to be a really relatively short reading, just because again, I'm just doing this for the first time and I'm doing a new setup. So this is kind of like a trial. So you guys are kind of like my, my guinea pigs, but welcome anyway. And I hope you like it. Um, 
long story short let's go to pile to card four those who chose card four the the card is judgment so whoever you're thinking about um for card four like i said just off the top and just intuitively this person maybe you guys have had some issues and challenges and they are trying to use good judgment when it comes to your relationship um they are like i said it's upright it's upright so they're trying to use good judgment when it comes to your relationship as to um doing the right thing saying the right thing and doing right by you and just kind of doing the right thing maybe you guys have had some issues in the past and they want to use good judgment and they want to not be too judgmental or critical or they don't want you to be too judgmental or critical of them if that makes sense so um i feel like those who chose card four are probably already established in a relationship and um it's important the advice that i feel to share is to use good judgment but basically that's the tarot advice for you is you know don't just rely on your intuition rely on your past your history be each other's friend and don't judge each other you know love and judgment do not go together because love does not judge it does not true love doesn't judge true love is um forgiving and believes the best and it can be difficult when you have a history especially when things have been hurtful and there have been, you know, times, especially in a long relationship, you know, things happen. People can be inconsiderate. People can be thoughtless. People can be a lot of different things. So it's important to, um, you know, to use good judgment <laughs> in this and not judge each other and try to be forgiving. And at the end of the day, you know, if it's not working, then cut your losses. And if you are determined to stay committed to each other, then um you know move forward with you know forgiveness in your heart and just keeping yourself together so i just want to end this read and i just want to say thank you for stopping by if you like the content please hit the like and subscribe button hit the bell notification so when i upload longer how does he or she feel readings you can tune in and you can let your let me know your comments below and again, I'm going to put the timestamps on this on this reading. So this is my first time using this setup. So I want to give it a little another closer look and show the cards because these are really pretty. And I hope if you're interested, again, check them out on my website, www.hopeandcookies.com. And check me out on Instagram at Allison's Cookie. So, sending you guys lots of love and light and transcendence. Ashe.